Welcome everyone to Lady Fire's Kitchen. New year, new recipe. Actually, my husband named this recipe Pasta Alegre. And the reason why he called it that is because as I whipped it up, gave it to him, he absolutely loved it. So I figured, you know what? This is a unique one. So I'm just gonna share this with you. So let's go to the ingredients. And here we have two bay leaves, a quarter teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one cup of orso, one cup of small shrimp, two cans of drained uh, clams. We have a third cup of uh, half and half milk, half a cup of whipped cream, we're going to use at least three teaspoons of butter. Spray of uh, olive oil, we're just gonna use a little bit. Over here we have one uh, medium-sized lemon, and if it's a big one, then just cut it in half, and of course, no pits on there. We have uh, a bunch of dill, chopped. We also have some parsley, and here we have a cup of freshly grated parm cheese. Um, at, right over here we have, of course, salt and pepper to taste, and two cups of vegetable uh, broth. And with that, we are just going to go uh, into the kitchen back there and we we'll start getting this pasta alegre ready for you. All right, so we're going to start with two teaspoons of butter. And immediately we're going to spray a little bit of olive oil, of course. And the reason for the olive oil is so that the butter doesn't brown too fast. As soon as uh, the butter melts, which is almost ready to do that, absolutely. Let's just go ahead and add our cup of orso in. And we're just gonna fry our orso for maybe a minute or two. And you will notice that some of the orso will change color as soon as I see a little bit of the orso, or some of it, to start changing colors, I will go ahead and add my two cups of vegetable, not vegetable, yeah, vegetable broth, of course. So let's just put this a little bit higher, like a medium high, to speed the process. And by the way, this is not rice, this is pasta. This is probably the smallest pasta, Italian pasta there is, and it's actually my favorite pasta. Orso absolutely do beautiful, wonderful side dishes, but orso is going to be part of my main dish, which is going to be everything in one pot. It's like a meal in one pot, so let it um, just kind of fry it a little bit. I think it gets a little bit of more nuttiness and more flavor when you do this. So see if you can see, I'm not sure if you can observe, but some of it is already changing colors. It's like a little bit, getting a little bit darker than the, uh, the rest. This is the point where you can go ahead and add your two cups, uh, cups of the vegetable broth. So here we are. Mm -hmm. 
After all of it is in, after the whole two cups are in, we're going to lower the temperature a little bit. And we are just going to let it cook until the broth is completely absorbed. Why broth and not water? Because broth has flavor. Water does not. And it's all in. So let's stir it a little bit. And of course, because it has butter and it has um, a little bit of olive oil, the pasta's not gonna stick. So we're just gonna cook this on medium high until this broth completely dissolves, okay? All right, so we're just gonna add a little bit of pink salt, just maybe like two, there you go, and a little bit of pepper, like three, that's good, and we'll mix it, and we wait. All right, so let's add some of our dry ingredients. We're gonna put the two leaves, four leaves, one, two, that adds a little bit of flavor, the quarter of salt. The onion powder. And the garlic powder. Mix together and we wait. So see, it's drying up. And this is uh, maybe another minute or so when it gets a little bit drier, then we're gonna add all of our wet ingredients, which we were talking about maybe the lemon and the half and half and the heavy wheat cream. Uh, so when it gets a little bit drier, we're gonna be adding all of those ingredients up, okay? We're going to remove those bay leaves because we don't wanna eat those, do we? Let's get them out. Here's the other one. And we're gonna start adding, of course, the lemon. The third cup of half and half. The half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Let's mix that together. All right. And right here, I would like to add my dill. Let's go slow just in case it's too much. This dill is fresh. I do like fresh ingredients. All right, let's just finish it all up. There we go. Wow, this is looking good, guys. Looking good. With that, I'm just gonna add my one teaspoon of butter right in there. And let it, all these ingredients, like maybe just one minute and just keep stirring. All of this has been in medium uh, low, okay? Okay, at this point, I'm gonna try the pasta and to see if it's completely cooked and soft or if it's still hard. It needs a little bit. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of heavy whipping cream. So they will cook all the way through before I add any of the other ingredients, okay? All right, look at this. Oh, I wish you could taste it because I already tasted it and it's not completely finished and it tastes delicious. So at this point, I'm gonna add half 
of the freshly grated parm. Wow. Give me a close up here. Uh, it's beautiful. But wait, it gets better, guys. We're going to add all our clams. It has a little bit of water, but that's okay. Just don't put too much of it, though. Look how creamy that is. You don't have to cook this that much because the clams and the shrimps, the shrimp is already cooked. So we're just gonna add it in there, right? And we're just gonna mix it. Now make sure that the pasta is soft. So if the pasta is not soft, don't be shy. Add a little bit of the heavy whipping cream and half and half until the pasta is soft. And then you add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna cook it for uh, about another minute. And then we're gonna take it out of the stove. Okay, so just keep on stirring. And this is going to be on medium low, all right? I already put all the pasta in here in this beautiful little casserole. And so we're gonna use the last of the half of the Parmesan cheese on top, like so. And of course, our beautiful, freshly chopped Parm cheese on top to decorate. And this is ready to serve. This is a delicious recipe. I guarantee you, you're gonna love it. All right? So try it, do it. Make your family happy, just like I made my husband happy. Basta, alegre.